G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, uh, and what a great way to start off. Anyway, <laughs> I am back. Uh, I'm talking, well, in this little live stream, I wanted to talk a little bit about the episode Prompto, the new trailer that I've just, I put up on the channel last night, actually, or earlier this morning, depending on where you're from. Uh, I will give you a warning right now. This, the trailer itself has some pretty big spoilers in it. Uh, and what we're going to be talking about in this live stream is probably going to be pretty hardcore spoilery if you aren't at least up to chapter 13. And it's going to give some insight into episode prompto. So if you don't really want to see any of that stuff, then I uh, totally support you clicking away. But otherwise, we're just going to be pretty much like we'll watch a trailer. Well, I want to watch the trailer and then maybe, um, you know, say a few things about it. I'm... I'm kind of excited about it. I'm very optimistic about it. It looks really quite cool. And I don't really have any real life friends to talk about it with. <sighs> so uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, anyway, who better to talk about it with? Little Kidder, already smashing it. Little Kidder just uh, super chatted $2 and says, welcome back. Well, thank you, Little Kidder. It wasn't exactly two minutes, but I am back. I am back. Whoa, focus, there we go. The camera is probably sore from looking at my my face, but anyway, glare, how do you get rid of this shit? Anyway, whatever, let's go. I've been holding it out for too long. I'll just run through the, uh, the trailer to start off with and then we'll go back and pick it apart. If there's any problem with the audio, let me know as soon as you can and I'll try and fix it up because I can't really hear it all that much on my end. So let me know. Here we go. And again, spoiler alert, people. Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? Man, it we can't have already looks good. Blood here. Although to most, this compound is known only as the first Magitech production facility. To you, this place should have some sentimental value. After all, it is your home, sweet home. Already some Arden action. I was surprised to see Arden in it, actually. But it makes sense from a story point of view. Bit of third-person shooter action. We see grenades there as well. It looks like the fourth slot down the bottom. Now you finally come home to Niflheim, my son. Yeah. Lose your will to live and you lose all hope in me helping your sorry ass. Aranea is Arabea. Aranea is Phil. Bit of snowmobile action. Dude. <laughs> Selfie. Such a good costume for Aranea as well. I'm a Lucian! I am not one of your experiments! Oh. I ran into your buddies in Tenebrae. <laughs> You've oh, got man. worried sick. She is smoking hot. New enemy there? Prompto! <laughs> You're nothing but a failure. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Dude. I think it's looking really good. Is there anything at the end though? No. Just some more fantastic video. Look at oh, the dude that made these thumbnails. Just, oh my God. He must be so talented. Look at that talent. That text. Hmm. Spot on. <laughs> anyway, that was the, uh, the preview. I think it looks really good. I don't know why they didn't show this at E3. Like, this would have been a massive, big, like, boom moment at E3. Uh, I don't know what type of crowd they had at E3. I think it was a fairly small one, like the Square Enix one. But this is great. This is, um, yeah, this would have been a really great way to present it. So if you've played the game up to Chapter 13, you'd realize that at a point, um, I think it's in Chapter 12, at the end of Chapter 12, uh, Arden, Prompto, and Noctis are on top of the train, and it happens, so happens that 
Prompto falls off the train. And it's uh, Noctis is pretty confused at that point. Uh, I think from what I can ascertain is that Arden is tr making uh, making Noctis think that Arden is Prompto or Prompto is Arden rather. So Noctis is pretty much chasing down Prompto because he's under he's got this cloud or a glamour or an illusion in front of him that makes uh, Prompto look like Arden. So he's constantly trying to get after him and knock his brains out. So I think he ends up knocking him off the train. But it's been a while since I've uh, gone through that. But um, basically it takes up after Prompto gets knocked from the train. And it looks like he wakes up in some type of Magitek facility. And if you don't know already, spoiler warning, um, Prompto is some form of Magitek. Uh, I, we don't, well, I don't know personally just how much he is because he doesn't look anything like the other experiments so uh or the other magitech soldiers so hopefully we'll get a bit more solid answers on that um but yeah it looks like arden is continuing to try and weave his deception and stuff in with prompto there is a scene towards the end if i can find it uh probably not i probably won't be able to find it though um with uh Prompto as a Magitech, I think here, this scene where he's on the ground and he's like, no, I'm a Lucian, and uh, Noctis is kind of storming towards him. I think you'll find that's more than likely a... Uh, I think you'll find that's more than likely an illusion by um, Arden to try and trick Prompto and make him doubt his friends. See here. I would imagine that's Arden um, kind of trying to mess with... Uh, mess with Prompto and like break apart the brotherhood or the bro team and yeah I'm I was kind of hoping that maybe we would see like a uh, um, I don't know if you guys have played Metal Gear Solid 1 but there's a torture scene in that I was kind of thinking maybe we'd have to do the same type of thing I think that would be fantastic if we had a little torture scene like in Metal Gear Solid 1 it'd be really great and I think it would fit too actually uh, also, we see a bit from, of course, there's Arden at the start. Um, maybe he'll feature, I think he's going to feature pretty heavily in this one, actually. I think he's going to try and make uh, Prompto really doubt himself. But the big surprise for me out of this was the fact, sorry, I'm skipping around, I'm trying to find the different places, was the fact that we get Aranea. And she looks goddamn badass in this suit. I really like her default uh, armor or lack of armor as it were but this one looks really good she's covered up and uh been a little bit more modest this time but i think it looks really really quite good i think it's great i think it really fits she's kind of got one of those like bomber puffer jacket thingies not bomber jacket but puffy jacket things um i think it's great like aranea is my favorite girl of the uh of final fantasy 15 so i think it's pretty cool um, other things that were in the trailer, uh, what was in the trailer? There was an extra enemy in here too. Sorry about this, uh, scanning and stuff. It looks unit SAS 0822 Barbarous. He looks like kind of a, uh, almost like a, uh, primate type of machine, I guess. Or like a Yeti, I, I, I guess a Yeti would be probably a more accurate way to put it. Or an abominable snowman or whatever you want to call it. And here we have like a big ass boring machine, tunnel boring machine. A little bit phallic, but otherwise uh, I, I doubt we could take it on. Maybe we can su uh, sabotage it or something, but who knows. Also, for people that didn't know, there is going to be a pretty heavy emphasis on the snowmobile, snowmobile action. They also said after you've done the initial episode, you'll be able to go back and do uh, like an extra, either a time challenge or a score challenge or something along those lines with, uh, with Prompto. So that should be pretty cool. I guess it would be similar to the score attack mode in uh, episode Gladiolus. I would imagine. So that looks pretty pretty cool, I think. Uh, all in all, I think this episode's really looking uh, quite cool. I think it's... Um, 
I'm not, I'm trying not to overhype it. I think it's still going to be probably realistically, it's going to be an hour to two hours of original content in it. And I think then after maybe, I don't know, three, four, five hours of time attack and uh, extra challenges and things like that. So do you think Arane's costume will also be unlockable with this DLC? Since in the survey, I heard a lot of people saying they voted for playable Arane. Um, I don't think it'll be unlockable purely because we don't have any option to equip Aranea. Maybe when she becomes playable, maybe, I, I don't know. But at the moment, it looks like she's just a teammate. It doesn't look like you take direct control of her. I could be completely wrong about that. Um, yeah. Although, here, yeah, it just says Prompto. It doesn't even list her as an actual party member. So maybe it's just an, uh, like an event type of fight that she joins. I really, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. So, but at the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to equip her or change her stuff. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, Mistol, hello, man. I thought you were asleep, dude. You should be back asleep. Maybe did my phone notifications wake you up, man? <laughs> I hope not. So another big thing of this episode is going to be uh, Prompto's interaction with his father. Whether it is his actual, like, biological father or it's just the... He was the one that, like, made Prompto. I don't know the exact origins of Prompto yet, but yeah. They've also talked about, thank you, Tyler. They've talked about missions in the, um, well, at the E3, they said there was going to be various missions. But from what I saw, they were more like uh, shoot this guy three times with a certain gun or shoot this guy 20 times with a certain gun. I don't think they're going to be very extensive missions. Like here, it says wipe out the enemies. I think it's going to be those type of missions. I don't think it's going to be very... Uh, complex type of missions here. Land two shots with the Sajida rifle. I really don't think it's going to be like uh, go to this region and do this thing. It's just going to be like let's shoot this thing, let's uh, kill a number of people with stealth kills, stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be that involved. So yeah. Um, as far as like explorable areas and stuff goes, I think for the main part I uh, I would imagine it's going to function very similarly to um, Episode Gladiolus. I think it's going to operate outside of the main game. Whether they flesh out the areas that are actually explorable, unexplorable in the game is yet to be seen. But when I doubt, I doubt we're going to be able to visit it in the game after this. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what will be interesting though, I think we're going to unlock his suit here, which looks cool as man. I really like the look of Prompto in this. Um, I think it's really fantastic suit, actually really well done. Um, what weapon we're going to unlock is yet to be seen because there's quite a few new ones. Um, like there's a submachine gun and there's a sniper rifle and there's the baton as well. So, And there's the bazooka that he's carrying there fighting the Dread Behemoth. So who knows, actually. It could be uh, interesting to see. But I'm guessing you'd unlock those for just finishing the main game. And then uh, once doing a score attack, you'd probably be able to unlock his costume for the main game is what I would imagine. But yeah. Yeah. Um, but as far as who's going to star in episode Ignis, at this point, it would just be a guess. But... It seems like the most obvious choice would be Iris, but um, I think that's really the only option left. I don't think anyone else... Are we missing out anyone else, really? Apart from maybe Luna Freya. But I don't know. That could work, possibly. Maybe we'll get a look at Luna Freya in um, Ignis's um, episode, possibly. Don't know, anything could happen. I really didn't expect Aaron A to be in this one. So, yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, otherwise, what are your thoughts on it, chat? I'll have... Oh, Cindy could appear in episode... Uh, in episode Ignis. Yeah, maybe. 
Um, but are you guys excited for it? I th I think it's going to be quite good. I I'm again I'm not trying to put a huge hype train on it, but I'm excited about it at least. But I'm keeping my expectations real. I don't think it's going to be a very hugely expansive 10 hour uh, like undertaking. Just keep your expectations realistic. Don't shoot them too low, but realistic, I think. Talcott, yeah. <laughs> Talcott could come out as a summoner and he could take summons from his um, Cactua statues maybe or Cactua statues and just do 10,000 needles on enemies and shit. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's um, definitely it looks more appealing already than uh, episode Gladiolus um, and people have been worried that it's going to be too like maybe too much of a corridor shooter uh, like from most of the clips that we've seen so far have been pretty much in these areas that look like all this uh, like corridors and just kind of like Call of Duty-ish type of areas or Metal Gear areas, I guess. But by looking at these, this preview as well, you see we've got the snowmobile area, which will break it up a little bit. And also there's some gunning action on it. But there's also some action scenes where he's out in a big field too. And this looks like quite a big area. So that could break up the monotony a little bit of the... Um, of the corridors hopefully uh yeah but i i also guess that it's going to operate the same way as episode gladiolus we'll go in with a set level a set amount of items and everything and apart from the bonus content we won't take anything back into the main game so probably a weapon more than likely and a costume but otherwise i i doubt there'd be any other exclusive items in this game But yeah, I'm definitely thinking that uh, episode Ignis will take place at least partly in Altitia during the Leviathan summon because a lot happens with the the Empire is actually watching the whole thing go down and it looks like uh, Prompto gets on one of those big lances and he's flying through the air so maybe they like commandeer one of the big ships or one of the drop ships or something like that but yeah. James, thanks for stopping by man. Um, yeah, so I don't really think I can say all that much more about this episode. I don't think there's anything I've really missed. We've, I just wanted to talk about a few points, uh, really. My wife doesn't really want to listen <laughs> about Final Fantasy XV, so, yeah. Uh, otherwise, it does come out on June the 27th. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's the Japanese date or whether that's going to be the American date. Uh, but we'll have to see. Hopefully it's the uh, the Australian date because I want to get it. I want to play it early as. Uh, but that'll be out next week. It is the 20th today here in Australia. So it'll be next week. And I'm definitely going to be doing like live streams. I'll do guides on how to get the best score to get, unlock the costume if that's what it comes down to. Um, and I'm pretty much going to be spamming spamming inboxes so hopefully you guys are with me and you're liking it but if not then i apologize for spamming your inboxes yeah yeah it says coming worldwide june 27 but i i just mean i don't know what if the date is a pacific date pacific i mean pacific pacific not specific i don't know whether it's going to be like a uh, asia pacific date like um australian time or japanese time or it's going to be the American one because there's about, I don't know, 12 hours or so difference between us. So yeah, it we'll see what day it lands on. It could be the 26th for the Americans. So we'll have to see. But otherwise, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the trailer. Unless anybody in the chat has something amazingly cool to say. Um... But yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't show you more stuff on Final Fantasy XV today. I I don't know, that timed quest that we got today was okay, but there's nothing really to show. No unique items, no, um, no really good experience. So I don't know, I'll have a bit more poke around, but yeah. Otherwise, I'm pretty pumped to see Aranea. I, I can't wait to see the way she interacts with Prompto. I think the whole time she's just going to be like, dude, just get your shit together get better, get good, 
basically. So, yeah, it's going to be really good. Anyway, um, little kidder, thank you very much again for the uh, the super chats there, and thanks very much for joining in. And everybody else in chat, thank you very much for being great uh, viewers, I guess, for chatting and keeping civil all the time. It's uh, I get a really good crowd. Yeah, AT Customs. Sorry, man. I'm just uh, I'm just finishing up now. But for anyone else, I do stream most days in the morning. It's around about 9 p.m. PDT, I think, or maybe 8 p.m. PDT. I forget. That's not very professional, is it? Anyway, it's about four hours before this exact time right now. That's a terrible way to announce it. Anyway, tune in because I live stream a fair bit these days. And definitely next week, I'll be live streaming the crap out of this. So... Hopefully you guys can join me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just a little bit of my talking to you and myself. Um, if you did like it, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions or you want to tell me what you're pumped about, then uh, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so because, yeah, you definitely need to be subscribed because there's going to be heaps of shit going down next time. Uh... And you could check out some of these awesome videos by a very handsome cow. Must be another cow then. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining in. And uh, I will see anybody that's interested tomorrow to play some Horizon Zero Dawn. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo! See you guys. Oh, I got to find the stop thingy. Where is it? There it is.